but also the information about her is taken from www.jarpstein.org. Uh, Pendulum practice. Everything takes practice, patience, and above all, persistence in the psychic realm. Most pendulum adepts have worked with their pendulums for years. When one is advanced, a pendulum can reveal practically anything. For those of you who are serious about becoming proficient uh, with a pendulum, I suggest you start out with asking the pendulum several, several unimportant questions at the beginning of your day. Questions that per pertain to, uh, to events you know will occur during your day. For example, will, will it rain today? Will I receive money today? Do I get off uh, from work early today? Ask easy questions that are not of any great importance, as emotions and desires very much affect the answers we receive, and this is where uh, inaccuracy can step in. Record the questions in your black book, uh, book of shadows, uh, journal. At the end of your day, go through each question and write the answer and note whether the pendulum was accurate or not. You can also use your pendulum for finding lost or misplaced items. Always record the, the accuracy in your black book. After several months, you should notice a lot of improvement in your, accur in your accuracy. If you want to advance further, try asking the pendulum questions using a, ma a map. When, when recording your work in your black book, it is often helpful to note the time of day, uh, the moon phase, the weather, and other ph phenomena. Uh, for ladies, including your time in your menstrual cycle is also very important. I have found this affects us more than most are aware of uh, as it has to do with the moon. Remember, it is always important to be as, rela as relaxed as possible when working with, pen with the pendulum as to access the right psychic side of your brain with which operates through the pendulum. Using a pendulum. Sometimes we need easy answers to things. With time, patience, and persistence, in practice, a pendulum is usually accurate, easy to use, and takes little time. It is important to have a quiet uh, setting where you are free from outside influences and will not be disturbed. Always bear in mind regarding divination, that if you feel very strongly, you may influence the, the, uh, the divination tool you are working with, and it may produce uh, in incorrect answers. It takes time, opening and empowering your mind and soul through meditation and also working with a pendulum on a regular basis and keeping a journal, a black book to record the answers it gives you and whether it was accurate or not. Uh, or not. You should also include the date, the time you work with the pendulum, the phase of the moon, the weather and if possible the planets such as Mercury being retrograde. Begin by taking something like a small crystal pendant ring or other small uh, lightly weight object and attach it to a necklace, uh, chain, string, ribbon or some other kind of strand. This should be only kept for divination purposes uh, and not for other uses. Your personal pendulum will infuse with your energy. The same is with a satanic rosary or other ritual item and should be treated with respect and put away when you are not using it. Hold the strand with your fingertips and uh, with your finger uh, finger trip, uh, fingertips and let the weight part hang. For those who are new and, uh, and or inexperienced with using a pendulum, it is a good idea to place your, yourself into a trance when working with a pendulum. Once you are confident in obtaining correct answers, you, you no longer need to be in the, in the trance state. Now ask a, que a question you know the answer to, like what day it is. Start out by asking yes or no questions. See what the pendulum does and get a feel for it. I have found swingli swinging right, left, uh, like shaking one's hand to, Im to imply no, means no, and forward, backward, uh, or for or forward, backward, like a nodding of the head means yes. When it goes in circles, the answer is uncertain. The wider the swing of the pendulum, the more accurate the answer. Pendulums can also be asked questions regarding how much, how many. The pendulum will swing stop. Uh, the pendulum will, will the pendulum will swing stop swing again and continue to do so a number of times before it completely stops. For finding lo for finding lost items, take the pendulum around the area and ask it um, and ask it if you are near the lost item. Spirits can also communicate to us through pendulums. We can concentrate and focus on the name of the spirit or demon we wish to contact. The pendulum is an excellent way to communicate with demons. With demons, the pendulum can be placed over a drawing of, a, of, of or copy of the sigil and ask questions. The various uses for a pendulum. P the pendulum are an excellent me means for, communica for communicating with the spirit world checking the accuracy of other readings and divinations and many other different things to find something lost in a room hold the pendulum and ask where the object is located the pendulum will swing in the direction of the lost object 
In a house, ask the pendulum room by room. Ex example, is it in the kitchen? Yes, no. Bathroom and so on until you narrow it down. Then go into the room and section it up. On the map, start by asking if the missing person or object is in the area of the map. For missing re person, persons, it is helpful to have a photo, uh, a photo and an item he or she has touched or worn. Held the pendulum in the hand you normally use to divine with, uh, to divine with it, and a uh, pointer or pencil in the other. Point to places on the map until you you are it down and go from there. Outside, ask. Am I facing the right di direction to find? If the pendulum swings uh, forward or backward, you are moving in the right direction. In circles, move with the circle cir with the circle slowly until it, sw uh, until it swings forward and backward. Uh, you can also draw a floor plan of a house or a building and use the map method. Outdoor ritual site. Try using a map, uh, map at first to pinpoint a good area. Places where ley lines and other energies on the earth grid intersects are powerful spots to perform all kinds of rituals. The pendulum will circle so fast when positioned over these areas. It will nearly be parallel to the earth. The stronger the energies, the faster the pendulum will, sw will spin. Past lives. You can you can write dates on a separate small piece of paper uh, or cards and spare and space them out evenly on a on a table. Ask about your past life and the pendulum will swing in, a, in the direction of the paper with the accurate date. You can keep going back this way in time. You can do the same with content, uh, content, continents. Narrow it down to countries in which you live. People you know, know you now know and their relationship to you in a past life. Put on, put on separate pieces of paper, lover, friend, spouse, family, and uh, member, and so on. Name the person and ask the question. H health. Health. Uh, health. Uh, yeah, health. Ask about each area of your body or ask the hour of someone you want to know about. Keep narrowing down the questions with each, with each answer you receive from the pendulum. Gambling. Be careful here, or as mistakes can be costly. Uh, but uh, you can take the pendulum to a casino and ask if this is if this is a table or slot machine. You can win big, uh, big at quickly and easily. The same can be done when b betting on a horses and so on. It pays to be real experience before you start going for the money. Sorry. Relationships. Uh, a pendulum can tell you all sorts of things about other people. A photo or personal item of the person in uh, in question is a big help, but is not necessary. Just hold the pendulum over the, uh, or the, over the item and ask questions. Places to go to shop or get repairs done. Just open the phone book and ask where is the most inexpensive and the best quality place for what you want. Name places on the pendulum will, will answer yes and no. Yes or no. A pendulum can also be helpful in diagnose in in, di in diagnosing car trouble before pulling everything apart or taking it to a shop. Rituals. Ask what uh, kind of incense to burn, the best time to perform the ritual, the best place, candle colors, and so on. Demons. For simple contact uh, of a demon, place the pendulum over the sigil of, of the particular demon and again ask a qu asking questions. Tarot cards. Lay out several tarot car cards as possible answers to, uh, to a question. Ask the question and the pendulum will begin swinging in the direction of the card with the answer until a yes is reached when it is placed directly above, above the card. Any yes or no questions can be accurately answered with a pendulum. Small cards or, or papers with names of people, places or things can be lined up from left to right and the pendulum, and the pendulum it will start swinging in the direction of a of the card or piece of paper with the answer. The pendulum should uh, should swing widely, as this is definitely yes or no. Circles are uncertain and a small swing is not so sure. Thank you for listening and hail Satan.